Hi everyone, it's Leah Elliott from the Race Center and Eric Amaro from the Waterville Recreation Department and a little plastic, plastic Santa hanging out. With uh, a fern ally, but it's not a fern. Also known as club mosses, but they're not mosses. So um, that time of the year again, and uh, we started to think about a white winter landscape and uh, very few green. So while you're out on a hike, um, you'll notice obviously the firs and spruces, uh, but you might also notice some of these guys. Um, this is a bristly club moss, but you're also probably pretty familiar with uh, what's also called a princess pine. So um, when you're out on hikes, these club mosses are pretty amazing and it actually, it might transport you back 400 million years ago. Um, 400 million years ago is when these plants uh, started to evolve and uh, they're a vascular plant that produces spores, not seeds. Uh, so they're different in the sense that um, because they're a very ancient and one of the first forms of vascular plants, um, they, uh, they, about 300 million years ago, they were actually the size of trees. So some of them were about 100 feet tall. And uh, actually, their fossilized remains is what most of our coal is made out of. So 300 million years ago, these were the, along with ferns, the dominating plant species on land. Now come today, uh, when you're out on a hike, walking through the woods, uh, you might come across these and uh, pretty amazing plants. Uh, so we have the club mosses, this bristly club moss here, and they just kind of stand straight up. You might come across ones that uh, seem to kind of just run across the ground in these long strings. And those are the running club moss, also known as um, wolf tooth or staghorn uh, club moss. Then you'll find one that uh, looks a lot like a cedar. So uh, it's called the southern ground cedar or fan club moss. And then uh, one that probably everyone's familiar with is that princess pine, the one that looks just like a miniature Christmas tree. And of course, we were walking around here the past few minutes, we couldn't find one. So <laughs> we make do with what we can find. Uh, but really amazing plants. Uh, some really cool stuff about this. They survive the wintertime, so they'll stay green all year long. Even though uh, they look like miniature cedar or mi miniature uh, pine trees, they are not uh, uh, a conifer at all because they produce uh, spores, not seeds. Uh, but one of the really cool things about this is that they produce a sugary substance similar to antifreeze. So it'll help keep their cells from freezing during the winter time. And then they'll also produce an, uh, it's an alkaloid. So similar to what you have in uh, nicotine and caffeine. So it makes a very bitter taste. So that's one way that they protect themselves from browse. So uh, definitely next time you're out there, uh, throughout the year you'll see them, they're always green in just a cool miniature little tree-like uh, spore plant. Thanks.